Go ahead, Brother Oyes, yes. All right. So thank you all again for having me. And uh, so yeah, I'm the Director of Islamic Investing. I've been with the company since 2008. I was in financial services since 1989 uh, when I was very young, which, you know, I got started early while I was going to college. And uh, so we, we've been able to do a lot of things here because I, I switched over from a regular uh, financial institution to a company that I can more align my, uh, my spiritual goals with, right? One of which is not to deal with riba. And even when I was at the previous company for 19 years, um, I wasn't in the role that I'm in now because it was just a regular non-Muslim run company but I was asked to always give presentations on 401k because it was something that I was uh, very interested in. So when I came over in 2008, we were managing, I think nine or 10 401k plans throughout the country. And now we're managing, I think 220, 230 of them. We're growing now in the last couple of years at 50 per year because people are seeing more of the need to do so. Um, so, you know, some of you have hopefully already seen this presentation before I was at the retreat and we've done this, uh, at another venue as well before. Um, but what this particularly is today is about a group of plans, which is a, a concept that we've introduced to ISLA and ISLA has, uh, run with it. It's going to benefit you, uh, in a pretty significant way. One, one thing is that ISLA is going to keep bringing this up to you, right? As a reminder because uh, I know when I was there at the retreat, there were organizations that said they would like to sign up, but then life comes in the way. But these reminders hopefully will be uh, important and will we'll get you to do it if that's what you're looking to do. So I'm gonna go through the presentation pretty quickly just to give you some highlights because you don't need to know everything inside and out, but you need to understand perhaps why you might wanna do this. So the group of plans, the difference here is that you're going to get a discounted uh, annual fee. So normally we charge $750. Your fee is going to be, you know, about $200 uh, less than that per year. Although the, the plan itself will be customized to your school. Um, so that's the benefit. I mean, you're getting the same plan, but you're getting it under a discount because we introduced this group of plans concept. By the way, ISLA is the first one to do it, but not the only one now because there's other ones, uh, other associations and groups jumping on the bandwagon also um, because there is, you know, good benefit there. So it's a discounted plan. Why do you need to have a 401k for your teachers? Um, I, I'll give you one of the reasons, which is you want to retain your better or your best employees, right? And one way to do that, especially if they've already experienced retirement programs in the past, is to offer it yourself. Another one is if you're looking to bring someone on and they've had an experience where they've had a retirement plan and now we don't have that at the school, um, that's just one less thing that you can mention in your benefits package. So it's, it's a great retention tool and acquisition tool of um, you know, the best staff that you want as well. Um, let's see, the, you know, the beauty of this is that uh, you don't have to do much. Basically you have to sign up for it initially and then we take care of the paperwork and everything, right? Um, and also you don't have to match because some of the schools are not able to uh, give extra benefits where they're able to you know, match two, three, four, six percent. Some schools do match, but not all of them do. You can add that on later on when you have more financial stability uh, or you just feel like doing it at that time. So with that, I'm gonna go into the presentation here. Um, I will mention some numbers as I have in the past as well. It doesn't mean that they're a guarantee of, um, of performance. It just means that this is the history of perhaps the market or the funds that we're gonna talk about. Um, but again, it's just a, a quick presentation. If you can write down your questions and we can take them if, if we have time. Um, but you know, financial planners, if you go to one or if you come to us, people are gonna tell you that whatever your income is right before you retire, you're going to need 70 to 80% of that when you retire. So if you're making $50,000 a year, you're gonna need $35,000 worth of income. Um, but unfortunately, perhaps none of us have a pension plan where the company is paying for it directly. Um, congressmen and police officers and fire departments and city governments, they have that, but we don't. And that used to be a staple before, but we don't have that. Social security, unfortunately, is not enough. So what you have to do is you have to have your own um, savings as well to be able to live off of. And I'm sure each of us has experienced unfortunate scenarios where people had to retire or they chose to retire and they're not living the life they want to. They're not able to pay the zakat or sadaqah the way they used to before. 
So their whole life changes just because they didn't have good planning. So why should you, uh, why should you invest continued? Um, convenience, because it's gonna come automatically out of your, uh, your payroll. You know, I've had a person come to me at a conference. I just remember it because it was early on and she's, she was probably like 25 or 26. So she said, you know, I started up a, a Roth IRA and I haven't contributed to it for four years because I keep forgetting. And, you know, each of those years, it could have been a significant saving for, especially as you have 40 years into retirement for somebody of that age. So the fact that it comes out automatically is great. You can have tax benefits. One, if you go with the traditional 401k, you can have whatever money you put into it will not be taxed right now. You'll get taxed when you withdraw it. Or you can go for the Roth 401k where you're getting taxed like normal now. The money you put into it will grow tax-free, which is a huge, huge um, savings opportunity. So I'll, I'll share, share some numbers with you in a second. So tax-deferred growth just means that when you're getting dividends or capital gains or anything else that's happening within your investments, you're not getting taxed. Outside of a 401k, if you have a regular account, you're going to get taxed on all those things. So the average Social Security, actually, this, this number is old now. It is now 1505 if I recall correctly. When we put this together a number of years ago, it was uh, $1,294 per month. But some of us know people that are getting $350 in Social Security. Some people are getting $2,000. The average Social Security check for 40 million Americans right now that are retired um, is just over $1,500. So $1,500 is not going to cut it um, because rent is going to cost that much, right? So now if you have teachers and, and uh, you know, some of them are not getting paid enough to um, have huge savings just like automatically, like if you have someone that's making $150,000, $200,000 per year, without even trying to, they're gonna have some savings, right? They might buy a second home, they're just gonna have extra money in their savings account. Even if they don't try, they're going to have some kind of balance. But for somebody that does not have that sort of income, you have to be really deliberate about saving. Otherwise, it's just not gonna happen. So how do you get there? So if you are 45 years of age right now, and you put in $458 per month at a 7% assumed rate of return, not a guarantee, just an assumption there, um, and you do that for 20 years, you'll end up with just over $238,000. If you don't do that, you'll end up with zero, right? I like to say that as well. So you have the, the choice is completely yours whether to take the deliberate route and to start doing this or not. So with the teachers, what you don't want to happen later on is when someone is retired, and this has happened in Southern California. Somebody, um, I remember one of the soccer coaches passed away, uh, you know, a teach, teachers pass away. And then they're doing a GoFundMe account or a launch good account for them because they didn't have any savings whatsoever. But some deliberate savings will get you to your goals. If you're 35 years of age, you can save the same amount, $458 per month or $230 per payroll, and you'll end up in this scenario with $559,000. You're fortunate enough to start early, you can get to $1.2 million by doing the same thing. Right. Brother, brother, we sorry yeah. to interrupt. Um, we can see most of your screen, but it's um, not the full. Like we can see the overview right. too on there. Oh, okay, I, I don't know if there's a way to make it full screen, but I, I could. I, I won't see you guys then. So let me. Oh, let me, okay. <laughs> I'll do that. Let me see. Okay, so you guys can see the full screen now. There you um, go. So th this is the way to save, right? This is how. And people say, you know, the stock market is going up so dramatically. Now we have four companies that are over a trillion dollars. Three of them are over $1.5 trillion in an economy that, for, uh, you know, something like I think 30 million or 40 million people are out of jobs right now. So some people are taking advantage of this, right? So we can as well. Uh, you can invest in the same things that they're investing in and have some kind of savings. So again, think about this for your whole staff, not just for yourself. Um, when you're 45, hopefully your income is greater than when you were 25 and you can put in more than uh, what is recommended here. Um, so if we go into, you know, how much, um, uh, how much you actually put in if you're 25 out of that 1.2 million, you put in 220,000 and it ended up being 1.2 million. So time is definitely what is on your side if you start early. But again, if you're older, you just have to put in more. And all of this money is yours anyway. It's not like you're giving it away to somebody else. This is your money. And as long as you have mutual funds that are diversified, you know, even though the market might go down at certain times, historically, 72% of the time in America, the U.S. stock markets are up 72% of the year. So three out of four years. 
Uh, the first quarter of this year was down something like 30 or 40 percent, but the second quarter of this year was up 40 percent. So people actually have more money in their 401k than they started the year with, which is unbelievable, right? But this is the kind of thing that happens over and over again. And those who know, uh, they take advantage of it when the markets hit lows. So as an example, I just gave an example here. You, you would uh, you know, include people that have worked over a thousand hours per year. So part-timers, or you can just make it uh, anyone can be included. You can have entry dates four times a year, twice a year, once a year. It's better to have it more often. The reason that you would limit it is so if you have new employees, you, know, you don't have someone every day coming to you and saying, hey, can I get uh, signed up for the 401k? You can kind of align it with your medical or other benefits that you have. Okay, so I think this is taking me through the entire presentation. I had hidden some slides. Um, so I'm gonna go through this part here. By the way, so you know, people will tell you that they can't afford it. They can't put in $25 a month or $50 a month even, but we pay all these other things. So I'm sure we can you know, make this into a bill for ourselves, just like any other bill, and we can pay ourselves uh, first. So you'll get a 401 kit, login information, and uh, all of this will come to you. It'll be uh, electronic. So the enrollment now is very easy. You just go to the same place that we go as employees of, of our company. You'll have the same access point and you'll go there and you can see your account balance every day. Um, you'll have your own login and, and the initial password, which you'll, which you'll change. And uh, this is the way that you do it, right? So it's all quite easy. It takes you through it easily. And as an employee, you can put in $25 a month up to $19,500 per year. If you do this in a way that's uh, um, pre-tax, you'll, as I mentioned, you'll save on taxes now. So let's say you're making $50,000, but you put in $5,000 per year. That $5,000 will not be taxed right now. So you'll probably save $1,000 or $1,500 in taxes. But when you get to that, remember we, we said $1.2 million if you're 25 years of age with that specific example. If you have pre-tax, that means you've already had the tax benefit. So when you withdraw the money, you'll be taxed as if that's income. But if you choose the Roth contribution, which most of you should choose, that 1.2 million will be free from tax when you withdraw it. It's a huge, huge benefit. Uh, if you're over the age of 50, you can actually put in even more. We do use uh, uh, you know, Islamic principles. So uh, we have four Amanda mutual funds and we have other funds as well for people to choose from because we're required to uh, have those as well. In order to create a 401k plan, you have to have enough uh, different options. But we use the uh, Islamic principles and ESG, which is uh, environmental, social, and governance um, uh, strictures to be able to, to create these funds. And then if you have questions for us, you know we've got a team of, I think now five people, but these are two of our leads, uh, the manager and uh, the lead agent, and I can be involved as well. So. That's what I have for you as a presentation and uh, wanted to see if you have any questions. Thank you so much, um, Brother Oase. I really appreciate that. Um, I think that probably a lot of us go through um, our work just thinking about the purpose of serving our schools, serving the dean, serving our students, and don't think about ourselves. And I really like the point about kind of making this a bill for ourselves to pay ourselves and to secure our future. Uh, we know that our religion also promotes us, um, you know, planning and taking care of ourselves and trusting Allah, but also tying our camel. So I really, really appreciate that and that perspective that we don't always hear or allow ourselves to hear. Um, so just to highlight some of the, the benefits of this group plan um, through Saturna that Isla is engaged with um, Saturna with, so this is a discounted plan at already probably the lowest price for a 401k um, employee plan in, in the industry. Sure. Uh, is that right, Brother Oas? It is. Yeah, so $750. It, I found, the $750, I haven't found a single company in the United States that uh, offers it for less. And since I've joined the company in 2008, it's been the same price the entire time. We so, are looking to increase it, though. Mm. Um, we are looking to increase it. We might go to $1,000. But for ISLA, because it's a group of plans, it'll remain the same. Well, there's, a, there's an even greater benefit, and that's really awesome, Brother Oweis. Jazakum um, al-Khairan. So basically, that, that price, as far as I understand, and Brother Oweis, I'm going to ask you to correct me anytime I'm wrong, 
that price of $500 through the ISSA plan, and there's going to be a small administrative yearly fee um, that ISSA will charge. Again, you're going to have the discount if you're an ISLA member school, um, but even if you're not an ISLA member school, your price will be cheaper than the $750 or $1,000 that Saturna will be uh, charging or any other 401k, any other financial group would charge to establish a 401k for your, for your school. Um, I understand that there is no limit. You could have one employee like um, ISLA might do um, or, or have like a small organization like ours, or you might have 35 employees like many of your schools. Um, again, it's up to you to set the limits on who's gonna be eligible for that. Is that right, Brother Oasis? It could be for part-time or full-time employees. Yeah, so That's full -time part of your package. Eligible. There, there's, so, you know, if you have someone working 10 hours per week, you don't have to include them, but the minimum guideline you can put on there is a thousand hours per year. So if, if they work at least that many, that's, that's the minimum. So you can obliterate that and not even have that either and just say anyone is uh, eligible for it. Okay. And then, um, and so this is kind of like a stock plan. You kind of have to sign on to the plan that is um, part of this group, this ISLA group, ISLA Saturna group plan. If you wanted it to be specialized, then Brother Oasis, that would be different. Is that correct too? That's what I understood so they, from Michael. They can, tell us, they can tell us what they want, if they want to have a match, if they don't want to have a match. Um, some of the features definitely can be customized. Okay, great. Um, what else is there? So Brother Oasis, they would come through, and this is part of the logistical stuff that we're still working on. Inshallah, we'll be putting out an announcement about this um, very soon, but you would come through ISLA because it's the ISLA group plan. So you would email me and say, hey, I'm interested in that plan. And then we'll get, we'll work together with Saturna on getting your group plan set up. Right, exactly. So inshallah, that so I think the, the fact that you already know that you need to have a retirement account because the government has taken away some of those, um, you know, pension plan and social security is not enough. Then it's the retention tool and acquisition tool. The low cost that we do it, for because uh, we started for the community by the community, right, in 1986. Um, and then, you know, the further uh, benefit of having the ISLA discount. So all, all of those things should compel you to do this, if not just for yourself, like think about those folks that you know are not saving and they're gonna have a hard time when they try to retire or they're kind of forced into retirement because they cannot do it anymore, right? They can't drag themselves anymore because they got bad knees or whatever it happens to be. So it's, it's good to have this opportunity. And this is a yearly cost. Is that right, Brother Waste? That's right. Exactly. Exactly. And if you don't want to renew, you don't renew. But, you know, I mean, I think that the benefit here is that it helps your employees. It's kind of like our flock, right? We are the herders. And this is our flock, our staff. And we are helping establish something that we know is good and important for them. The 401k for their, for their future, inshallah, and their family's future. So... Yeah, I think the only question that we had there was whether there is a limit on employees. There is not. And the final um, uh, benefit is that, you know, you all are going to want something that's based on Islamic principles. We've been doing that since 1986. And it's not just stock funds. So if somebody's conservative, they can have the participation fund, which um, is based on uh, sukuk. We have a basket of sukuk, which are not in the stock market. So when you go through the guided enrollment, it'll ask you a few questions and then it'll give you a suggested uh, allocation of where you want your money to go. So it's quite comprehensive. It, it's, it's a far cry from when I came on in 2008. We had, I mean, it was not the same. It wasn't online. There was three different applications you had to fill out. There was a lot involved, but it's very, very simple now. What questions do you guys have? Do you guys have any questions or you've heard this before and it just has to, you know, soak in and then maybe make a decision? Sister Mariam? So I was just asking about the kind of uh, companies that are being invested in. Right, so what we do is we take out those companies that are outwardly haram that we would know. So banks, insurance, because of riba and whatnot, tobacco, alcohol, pornography, gambling, pork products and all of that. And then the remainder of the companies could be any company, it could be Apple, just as long as their secondary income is not more uh, of haram revenue is not more than 5%. Haram revenue for us is basically interest because we don't like to have any alcohol or pork sales on the sides, right? Even if it's two or 3%, we, we stay away from that. So it's interest income. It has to be less than 5%. So the, the overall portfolio of a man of income and a man of growth fund is, um, is around 1% or so 
of haram revenue, which again is interest income. Every company has loans, believe it or not, and they have interest income. Apple has a huge amount of loans, but also interest income, but they both come into the same, uh, they, they come under the strictures that were provided by the, the governing bodies. So we use FIC Council of North America, and there's another uh, organization called AOFI, which is based out of Bahrain, and the numbers are very similar, we use that. Jazakallah brother. You, you would get Apple and Google and Pfizer and, you know, I mean, all the companies that you know of. We only invest in large companies, those companies that have, uh, you know, 20, 30, 50 billion dollars in value. So you're, you're not buying mom and pop shops or things like that. These are the same kinds of things that other people are going to be investing in, just taking out the haram things. Do you also have some of the social consciousness uh, issues? Like, are you also considering that in the companies that are invested in? We do. So we have uh, ESG, as I mentioned, which is environmental, social, and governance. And our Mana Growth Fund is rated in the top 5% of all growth funds in, in America in that standard. So we took out, um, you know, basically uh, coal producing companies. So we don't have Chevron. I think we used to own that. We took those things out and then we, we come up very high on those standards. So that's one of the factors. We, we have two different things, Islamic screens and then the ESG screens as well. MashaAllah, right. that is so awesome, Brother Ways. I really mm -hmm. um, admire and appreciate that. I mean, that is what we're supposed to be doing in, in every regard with our schools, with all of our industries. Um, if we are really claiming to be Islamic, then, then part of that is our care and concern for the environment and for humanity. So. So I know we only have two minutes of my time left, so I'll just ask this question. Does anyone already have in this group have a 401k through Saturna, Amanda Mutual Funds? I know there are some members, but maybe not the ones that are on here. Uh, but you can, you can talk to um, OCS in, in Garden Grove, California. Uh, they've had, I think she's even spoken on our behalf at the retreat and whatnot. So you, you, can, you can maybe call her or email her and find out. Is that you know, how, not Lubna? What's, what's her that? name? Lubna Shah's sister. <laughs> what's her? Is right. that who it is? I forget uh, what her. Okay. Yeah, the real bubbly per personality. <laughs> Mashallah, I know who you're yeah. talking about. I'll reach out to her. Brother Oasis, before you leave, um, would you or someone from your team be able to provide an orientation for the staff on the 401k? Say they join up with the ISSA group. Then is a follow up. The follow up is okay that they're going to go through the paperwork. Is another part of it also that you provide orientation to the staff? Yeah, that's the minimum standard for us. We do that with every plan. And then uh, like Granada Islamic School in Northern California, you know, we've, I, I don't know how many we've done for them, right? We do quite a few for them because they, they have a lot of staff members. And so they like to have, so we can do that once uh, a year. We can do it twice a year for you after the initial enrollment. And we'll show people how to go online and sign up the same day. Awesome. Great. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Brother Oais. Jazakum Lohan for joining and for presenting this really important information to us. Nice to see you all. Take care. Assalamu alaikum. All right.